All right, man, we back. More City Sports Talk. We in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And should the Detroit Pistons consider moving up for LaMelo, Edwards, Wiseman, Denny, or whoever else you deem worthy to move up for, let's talk about the possibilities. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And hopefully this weekend have a Pistons stream coming, a lot of them coming. So, um, And don't forget to check out the Pistons uh, Talk playlist as well. I mean... It all depends on your valuation. If you can trade up for them, that means they may not be so special. All right. You didn't hear people, you know, the Knicks didn't take any serious talks about Zion in trades. Neither did Cleveland for LeBron, you know. But if it's a year, excuse me, if it's a year to move up and trade for somebody, I think the Pistons can do it. I think they got the firepower. They got the picks to do it. But. Is it worth it to trade up for one of those guys? And I think it really boiled down for three players for them. Denny, LaMelo, and James Wiseman. And people say, why Wiseman to trade up for? Because I think offensively he can develop. And I think he's going to be a dominant big man, bar minimum, on the defensive side of the floor. He got things you can't teach. Athleticism. Of course, he, he got to get stronger, but he will get stronger. I think he could be a Dwight Howard type of player. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't fully get done my evaluations of him, but people tend to forget how dominant and good he was because he had to lead college over some infractions. But those are the three I would consider moving up for. And, um, you know, they could. Don't forget, you know, the mellow boss manager, Jermaine Jackson, he's from Detroit. Played in the league from UAD. Well, I think with the UAD and all that. So I would consider it. Would I pay a King's ransom to trade up? Absolutely not. But I, I do think if you want LaMelo Ball, you look at the teams that's up there, Minnesota, Golden State, um, Chicago, Charlotte. You know, at the, I mean, you look, who need LaMelo? None of them. You put LaMelo with DeAndre Russell, I just don't like, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't see success. You know, and I said this before about Minnesota. I think Minnesota is best taking Denny. I don't, I don't think they are successful taking LaMelo with D'Angelo Russell in the backcourt. I just don't see that being a, a fit, especially both of those guys are young and haven't committed to the defensive side of the floor. I think that's just a bad fit for the Minnesota Timberwolves. So if you can trade up there with, with, with Golden State or Minnesota, I mean, what would it take? You know what I'm saying? Because there's depth in this draft from one to the end of the draft, maybe even going to the second round. You got the Okoro kid from Auburn that's getting compared to – Kawhi Leonard, you got the kid from Vanderbilt, Sadiq, who's a bona fide baller, played for Jerry Stackhouse down there. I mean, you got Cole Anthony, you got Tyrese Maxey, which I'm not so high on him. But, you know, the kid from uh, Okongo, Congo, excuse me, from USC, you got Depp, the point guard from France. So, really, you can move back and still get a good player and retain assets. But if you feel that there's a gap between Denny, LaMelo, Wiseman, Edwards, and everybody else, it's a great great year to trade up as well, too. I mean, you got Luke Kennard. You got Derrick Rose, who's openly admitted to wanting to go back to Chicago. I mean, if you got Christian Wood, if you willing to do a signing deal, trade trade situation for him. So the Pistons have the assets to move, to move up. The only asset that they're not going to be able to move is Blake Griffin and, and shouldn't move is also Sioko Diambo. You know, so those two players, one you can't move, one you don't want to move. Because it's at the point where, it's at the point where, you know, you can do whatever you want to do with this team. If you want to, if you want to strip it down the talent completely, and you know, you gonna let Blake Amnesty, Blake Rose, and I um, meant Blake Rose, Blake Griffin, if you can, or if you are going to, you know, say I'm gonna move on for Christian Wood, Luke Kennard, eventually Derrick Rose will be gone. Hopefully, get a spot back in, in Chicago that he want. If you're in a position to say, you know what, let's strip this team of this talent, let's build with or around Diambo, you know, you can move up and say, okay, LaMelo Diambo. All right, next year you be really bad. You get up there in the top five or seven next year, get you another player. They can do it that way, or they can say, you know what, we like Wood, we like Sayoko, you know what, we can settle for Killian, we can settle for, and I'm not done with my evaluations with him, we can settle for Sadiq or Coro, we can move back. You know, or you know what? We can draft and we can trade back up until the end of the first round, get a two guard, we can trade in the back of the end of the first round and maybe get the uh 
uh, get the point guard, uh, you know, from France or the, the kid from Michigan State. I forget his name. I'm drawing a blank. You know, Cassius Winston. I mean, I mean, who knows? It's a, it's a lot of talent here. You know, but if the decision was up to me, you say, hey, CJ, what you what would you do? You know, you have to really evaluate. And I evaluate a lot of these players. You know, you have to see what's being said. But I'll tell you this. If that Denny kid can drop to me, I take him. I think right now I'm early in the process of evaluate him, but I take him. You know, if I'm looking at Sadiq or Okoro and I believe that they they only 19, they can grow, and I like a play them at two, I take them. I really think they could be good, but I don't think unless unless you know this kid Lamelo is gonna be really good. I don't know if I trade up for him. But the Pistons, I mean, I definitely don't want to trade a next year one for them. So if that's part of the deal, me giving up a future next year one, protected or unprotected, that's just not going to happen. I think it's best that the Pistons either stay put. What I would do is stay put. I would try to trade back into the end of the first round. If somebody slid, I like and get them. I think they're in a the position to get the best player available, R.J. Hampton. But there's some really good guys in the SEC that I'm liking, Okoro, and I'm liking Sadiq as well, too. So it doesn't necessarily have to mean you got to get a point guard first pick, hell burden or whatever. You can move back in the end of the first round and still get a really good point guard. But like I said before, you know, I think the price is still steep for trading up. But if they're willing to, to take serious offers, that, don't, that's, that number one pick ain't that special then. You know what I'm saying? But it'll be nice to have LaMelo here. But at what price to compromise your future? You know, you're giving up a ton of assets. And then if you give up a next year one, then, I mean, shit, you, you know, the process is, you know, the process is going to be set back another year or two. So I think I stay put or move back. I might stay put and move back into the first round and the end of the first round to get a guy I really like. So I just think it's too much talent around that seven area that if you can get Denny, I like his game. He can be that point forward that you need. He can shoot it. He got some sneaky athleticism. I'm still evaluating him, evaluating him but he good. I mean, you know, you got some point cards there, Hill Burton, Killian, Cole Anthony, but I'm at the point as far as the point guard position, I'm not too high on, on, on some of them dudes. I really, I really like Hill Burton, but he got a funky shot, but he shoot better than the other two point guards from three point land. You know what I'm saying? But it's still early in the evaluation. But I'm thinking I'm I'm kinda I'm can, kinda getting drawn more to those 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 swing men. The Denny's, the the kid from Vanderbilt, Sadiq, the kid from or Auburn, uh, uh, Okoro. I'm kind of getting drawn more to those type of guys and staying put and getting one of those dudes. And you know that's kind of where the league is going going to. You need two way athletes as well too. And then down the road you can get a point guard. You know what I'm saying? Um, but right now it's point guard heavy, man. And you know obviously if they did move up for Lamelo, this would be a year that's probably allowed to do it because the top five teams don't need a point guard. Atlanta is six, I believe, in front of us. They don't need one. Chicago, they got Kobe White. Charlotte, they got Terry Rozier. They just paid him in. Devontae Graham in the backcourt. Um, Minnesota, they got D'Angelo Russell. Golden State, they looking to trade out. So, you know, it, it depends. If Blake Griffin can get healthy, you might could pull off a Blake for a Wiggins uh, swap and a seven for two swap, but... I don't think they're going to take that chance on Blake Griffin right now. So, I mean, it would be nice if Blake stayed healthy last year and we could swap him out, but I don't see that happening. But, you know, I, I, I'm opposed to trading up. I think you can get one. I think you can get really good value at seven or below. But um, personally, you know, if they did move up, you know, LaMelo would bring a lot of cachet to Detroit. Instant televised games, um, ESPN, TNT. You know, would he be a, a smash hit right away? Who knows? You know, but I wouldn't trade up for Edwards. Only three I'm trading up for right now is Wiseman, Denny, or Melo. And it's a chance that those guys can be there at seven. Probably not Melo, but Denny and Wiseman can slide. The the extinction of big man is, is, starting, is starting to really get in there. You know, he's not a guy that's going to stretch his three-point land, so people might look at him more of a Nerlens Noel even though he's more dominant than that. But it might be a chance if you get Wiseman or Denny at the seventh spot. You know, I think Atlanta will be attracted to Denny. You know, but they just drafted so many swing men this past year. So 
We don't know, man. But I, I wouldn't trade up, and that's just my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, query, sponsorship, video request. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? Cash app for CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. And don't forget, check my other channel out, Goodfellow Sports TV. Let me know what you guys think. We gone.